This is the morning office for March 5th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 25, verses 3 to 10. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. In you have I trusted all the day long. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. Remember me according to your love, and for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Gracious and upright is the Lord, therefore he teaches sinners in his way. He guides the humble in doing right, and teaches his way to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are love and faithfulness to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, forgive my sin, for it is great. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Song of the Three Young Men. Azariah stood still in the fire and prayed aloud, Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our ancestors, and worthy of praise, and glorious is your name forever. For you are just in all you have done. All your works are true, and your ways right, and all your judgments are true. For your name's sake, do not give us up forever, and do not annul your covenant. Do not withdraw your mercy from us. For the sake of Abraham, your beloved, and for the sake of your servant Isaac, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promised to multiply their descendants like the stars of heaven and like the sand on the shore of the sea. For we, O Lord, have become fewer than any other nation and are brought low this day in all the world because of our sins. In our day we have no ruler or prophet or leader, no burnt offering or sacrifice or oblation or incense, no place to make an offering before you and to find mercy. Yet with a contrite heart and a humble spirit may we be accepted, as though it were with burnt offerings of rams or, or, and bulls, or with tens of thousands of fat lambs. Such may our sacrifice be in your sight today, and may we unreservedly unres follow you. For no shame will come to those who trust in you. And now, with all our heart, we follow you. We fear you and seek your presence. Do not put us to shame, but deal with us in your patience and in your abundant mercy. Deliver us in accordance with your marvelous works. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. My thought about silence for today is based on a line in one of the books I've been reading on silence where silence is described as the taming of noisy images. It's a little bit of synesthesia, the idea that you can smell colors or taste shapes. But there is something in it, I think, that speaks to us also in the spiritual life. 
I think we all are aware of the false gods that are in our lives. And it isn't as if those false gods are quiet, vanity and fear and envy and so on must advertise. It isn't enough for them simply to be there because they, they demand a kind of worship that means we have to pay attention to them. So there is that noise that comes from those images in our hearts that are the false ones that we set up in the place of God. Somehow we have to shut that off, that, that noisy advertising, in order to hear the true message, which comes much more quietly uh, and much more indirectly at times than the, word, the ones that come from the world. I ask your prayers today for the day, the world, and the church. Pray for all the needs of our community, the needs that we have to live together peace, peaceably and with justice and with equity. Pray that today, in some way, we will begin to address things that are far too large to address in any one day, but that must begin sooner or later. Pray for the world also, that the needs that we see around us to maintain the common home that we have, to live in peace with one another, uh, to live in a way that allows everyone to have enough, which also are far too large ever to be solved in one sitting, in a few words, in one day, or one action, may perhaps begin to be addressed today in some way. And pray for the church, that as it walks the road with humanity, as it walks that way between God and this world, it will have something to say that will help this world to come to itself. O Lord, we beseech you mercifully to hear us, and grant that we, to whom you have given a fervent desire to pray, may by your mighty aid be defended and comforted in all dangers and adversities. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>